Okay, so we're going to do the class test 1 of 2018. We're going to do question 4. Okay, so consider the sets, this set of four vectors in R4. The question is, does S generate R4? Here it does explain why. Here it does not give the Cartesian equations describing the subspace it generates. Okay, so we want to look at the space generated by the space generated by this S. Okay, so this is question 4.1. So, space generated by this S, it's all the linear combinations of those, of those four vectors. So, we want to look at, we're going to say that, you know, a vector is in the space generated by S, if and only if X is a linear combination of those four vectors. So those four vectors are 1, 0, 1, minus 2. Oh, a linear combination of them. So you've got a, a times that first vector plus b times the second vector is 0, 1, minus 1, 0, plus c times the third vector is 3, 1, 3, minus 3, plus d times the fourth vector, which is 2, minus 1, 4, minus 1. So minus 3 there. three. Okay, now that linear combination, you can rewrite it in matrix equation form. Okay, and then it'll be the columns of the matrix will be the, the vectors. And the coefficients will go there. And That'll be equal to x. Okay, so we want to Gauss reduce this. Oh, I don't know why I put the x on that side. I'd rather have it stay on the same side. Okay, so we want to Gauss reduce this to, uh, to see what what solutions it has. So we could start off with doing row two, making row th oh, no, making row three, row three minus row one, and making row four, row four plus two times row one. Okay. So we do that, we'll get the equation, ooh, of course, now we're going to be doing this, we need to put x, y, z here, x, y, z, w, there, okay. So we do this, oh, sorry, and, okay, so we'll go row 3 minus row 1, so row 1 is, is the same, row 2 is the same, row 3 minus row 1, you get z minus, uh, row 3 minus row 1, so z minus x, row 4 minus 2 times row 1, so w minus 2 times x, no, plus 2 times row 1, sorry, so plus 2x, okay, now we do the same thing to the matrix, first row is the same, second row is the same, third row becomes 0 minus 2, 3 minus 1 is 2, 4 minus minus 1 is 5. And then minus, what am I doing? Sorry. 1 minus 1 is 0. Minus 1 minus 0 is 0. 3 minus 3 is 0. 4 minus 2 is 2. Last row becomes minus 2 plus 2 is 0. 0 plus 0 is 0. Minus 3 plus 6 is 3. And minus 1 plus 4 is 3. Okay. Okay, um, now we could do, to row 3, we could add row 2, and that's, I think that'll, that'll be enough for now, yeah, okay. So, then this thing would become x, so that's the same, y, that's the same, w plus 2x, that's is the same, but now row 3 gets row 2 added to it, so we have z minus x plus row 2 is y, okay? So we end up same first row, same second row, the third row now becomes 0, 0, 0 plus 1 is 1, 2 minus 1 is 1, and the third row is still 0, 3, 3. Okay? Now we can see we're going to get a row of zeros at the bottom if we do if we do three times row three minus row four. 
okay? Then that's going to give us a row of zeros. So three times three times row three is hold on a second. Three times row three is three z minus three x plus three y, and minus row four minus w minus two x. Okay, and that must equal zero. So this simplifies, of course, to what? To minus 2x, no, minus 5x plus 3y plus 3z minus w equals 0, okay? So apparently this is a Cartesian equation, and if you carry on reducing this, you would just get, you're not going to get any other rows of zeros, okay? Um, so let's check, let's check that this really is a solution. So the first vector is 1, 0, 1, minus 2. Right. Well, the equation I got was what? It was minus 5x plus 3y plus 3z minus w. OK, so the first vector was 1, 0, 1, minus 2. So 1, 0, 1, minus 2. So that becomes minus 5 plus 3 plus 2, yeah, that's 0, cool. The next vector was 0, 0, I want more space, sorry, minus 5x plus 3y plus 3z minus w equals 0. The next vector was 0, 1, minus 1, 0, so that becomes, yeah, 3 minus 3, 0. Next vector was 3, 1, 3, minus 3. So that becomes minus 15, plus 3, plus 9, minus 3. So that's, that's not right. No, plus 3, sorry. Yes, that's 16, 15, minus 15. Yes, that's right. Cool. And then, Two minus one, four minus one, and that becomes minus five. No, sorry. Minus ten, minus three, plus twelve, plus one. Yeah, minus thirteen plus thirteen is zero. Yes. Okay. So these, all these four vectors are in that plane. So this is this plane is the correct answer for the Cartesian equation. Okay. So we're done. Um, so four point two. Can at least one of the elements of S be expressed as a linear combination of the others? Um, if one can express as they do so, if none can explain why, yes, of course they can be because we have four vectors, but they don't span, they don't generate R4 because it's, they only generate this Cartesian equation. Okay, oh, I should say, by the way, that this implies that S is not equal to R4, okay. Um, so we just need to find out which vector can be expressed in terms of the other vectors and you know what the what the scalars are in that. Well, to do to deal with that, what you'd do is you would look at the linear combination of those four vectors. So you'd look at those four vectors were one zero one minus two. And I don't want to write them all out again. Let me just call these vectors u1, u2, u3, u4. OK. So I'd look at a u1 plus b u2 plus c u3 plus d u4 equals 0. Equals the 0 vector. OK, and I'd try and, I'd try and find a non-trivial solution. I mean, I know there is one, because these, I know these are going to be dependent. And then I'd, so in fact, what I would probably do, oh, yes. Now, if I did this, I would be Gauss reducing. It would be just like it would be just like I did before, except with just like here, but with the x being the zero vector. So I'd Gauss reduce in the same way. End up over here, get to here, the same place, and 
so this whole thing would be the same as having, so now if I write down the last step we were at, 1, 0, 3, 2, 0, 1, 1, minus 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, and we had a row of zeros, didn't actually write that down, um, times A, B, C, D equals, then not, instead of the X vector, just have the zero vector there. Okay. So now we carry on Gauss reducing this. So we could do, we should, we can do, we want, we want everything above each pivot to be zero, so we could do um, row two minus row three and row one minus two times row three. Okay. That's going to take us to top, oh, one, zero, three, Oh, no, one, zero, one, zero. Uh, zero, one, zero, minus two. And zero, zero, one, one still. Zero, zero, zero. A, B, C, D equals the zero vector. Okay, so if and only if thing. And uh, now the gas just, now we've still, we've still got something about the pivot being zero, so let's do row one. Wait, why did I do minus two row three from row one? That was that was not that was pointless because I don't want things to things about the pivot I want to be zero. So I should have done oops, sorry, I should have done should not have done that. I should have done row one minus three times row three. Yes. Okay. So that would become one zero zero minus one. Yes. Okay, so that's that's now we've got to reduce that as much as we need to, as, as much as is possible. In fact, everything above the pivots is everything above and below the pivots is zero. So there's one free variable there, which is the the fourth row. So it's d. So we can set the d to be anything. So let's set the d to be minus one, because then we will have to take it to the other side very simply. So this whole working implies that if implies that. Um, well, it's satisfied by d equals minus 1, and then c will equal minus d, so 1. b will equal, what? b will equal uh, 2, will equal 2 times d, so minus 2. And a will equal 1 times d, so a will equal minus 1. And so then we'll be able to say that u4 equals, this, takes the other, this d has got a minus 1 in front of it, so it takes the other side. So a is minus 1, so minus u1. b is minus 2, so minus t2 u2. And d is, oh, c is 1, so plus u3. So you've expressed u4 in terms of the other vectors. Let's just check that that's correct. So the, the coefficients were minus 1, minus 2, and 1. They were minus 1. We did we did minus 1 times this, minus 2 times that, plus 1 times that, should equal that. Let's check that. So you get, top row you get minus 1 plus 3, that's 2, yes. Next row you get minus 2 plus 1, that's minus 1, yes. Next row you get minus 1 plus 2, minus 1 plus 2 plus 3, that's 4, yes. Next row you get 2 Minus 3, it's minus 1, yes. Okay, so our, our, the, the combination is correct. Okay, and I think that's the end of the question, isn't it? Yes.